possible for the Vikings to get a first down without a touchdown. Third and 12 here, far. Throw it. Tipped up. It falls with it picked up. Picked off by the Dolphins. Vontae Davis. How many different people touched that football without letting it hit the ground? Brad Childress has challenged this play. The ball hits Harvin. It then bounces up into the air. Vontae Davis gets the ball there while, before it touches the ground, but he's touched while he's down by Percy Harvin. So this is an interception. The ball does not touch the ground. Davis does a wonderful job of keeping it up in the air, but right here, Harvin leans over and touches him. Fake to Thomas. Pressure picked up. Rees over the middle. Mitchell bobbled! Somehow he got it back. I mean, that was tipped 10 times, and Meacham will corral it. They'll spot him up at about the 44-yard line for a 13-yard game. They see Robert Meacham find the open part in the zone. Drew Brees throws a dart right on him. Hits off his face mask. Demario Davis gets a piece. D. Milliner, and then finally Robert Meacham brings it in. I counted seven times. Different fingers were on that ball before Meacham finally corralled it. That was unreal. On his head. Where is it? And he caught the thing. That's great concentration. Gretkowski looking. He fires down the field for it again. Oh, man! Jacoby Ford just snatched it out of the air. Outside, Gretkowski sees the break, then lets the ball go. And Chris Clemens goes up for it, but Jacoby just fights him and comes back down with it. Clemens gets both hands on it, and it didn't work. In this, yeah, putting a blocked field goal once that made the difference. Third down and six, and that pass sails, and then, and then somehow Beasley makes the catch. Oh, my gosh. The Giants almost had an interception and maybe a pick six. Never seen a guy catch it on his nameplate on the back. Watch this. He's going to pin into his back and he's going to get it pinned to Beasley and then keep his feet in bounds. <laughs> oh my goodness. Third down and six at the nine. And Bo Jackson to the 20 and out in front and only one man to beat and Beasley can't run him down. He had the angle but there goes Bo and nobody catches Bo. Touchdown. <laughs> He may not stop yep. the Tacoma. <laughs> He's gone. Portland. He just went by Spokane. And there go the Raiders into flying. <laughs> what a scene. <laughs> Come on back, guys. Oh, he was flying. Far lays it up for Freeman, oh. and it's incomplete. It, or did he, he make the catch at the 15? Yes. What are they going to rule? it? he caught it? Touchdown. <laughs> he did what? Ref was he's right on it, I think. Oh, man. Man, how did Dishman not intercept it? Well, the Packers are going wild. The crowd's going wild. It I imagine there's nothing to challenge, but they'll have to look at it upstairs. Hand tack. Well, he's laughing. But let's see what it shows on the replay. It never hit the ground. It hit the back of Antonio Freeman. Watch oh, left oh, arm bring the ball up in the air and oh, he oh, oh, the field. six oh, inches oh, off the grass. What a Unbelievable awareness of where the ball is. We oh, have his money. Deep hand off to Barry. 35. Breaks through 30. Barry outside of the 20. Cuts inside of the 15. Outside of the 10. Barry the to third five. And touchdown. Holy macro what a run by Barry Sanders. That is one of the more incredible runs that you will ever see. Barry Sanders turned around a defensive back about three times. Wow. That defensive back was not blocked. And Barry just cut inside, cut outside, cut inside. The defensive back could never set his feet to get a shot at Barry. Ball up now. The seams are one-on-one. One-on-one. What a catch, and he's going to go. Nate Washington over the back and scores over Jacob Lacey.
Here you see they're locked up. He's man to man coverage. His safety moves, focuses on the ball. Safety just misses. Safety is very close to getting that. Just undershot that, but what a terrific effort of going back up over and making that catch. Well, Cincinnati's moved ahead of Pittsburgh, maybe Houston in the central, Buffalo ahead of Miami in the east. And now the Raiders, can they stay with Kansas City and can Denver stay with Bo Jackson? The answer is no. Bo has another. Palmer has time. Sideline for Ginn. He's got it. What a catch by Ted Ginn inside the 30. Got both feet down, 27 yards. That's a great job by Ted Ginn Jr. of getting his feet down and in play. Third down, goal to go. Look at that agility. Right there, Jimmy Giles, the receiver, uh -huh. Cunningham, by all rights, hit by Carl Banks. And he can't could have been it. down. He maintained his balance. We talked about his athleticism. And as Randall Cunningham comes out on the rollout, play action holding some linebackers. They, of course, are anticipating this. All pro Carl Banks, the perfect tackle, drills his head through Cunningham. He maintains his balance, fires it to Giles. A spectacular play. We're glad you saw it. Now to a half minute remaining. Third and two. Elway with the look. It is deflected. It is. It is caught. Caught by McCaffrey. Touchdown, Denver. <laughs> I don't believe this. I that don't either. Up in the air. Three different guys had a shot at this ball. But the guy who's six foot five able to use the height and come up with it and extends to a 21-17 lead. Look at the number of people that had a shot at this ball. That thing was up in the air for a long period of time. You can see the defenders. Number 42, Harlan Barnett hits it first. But Adrian Waddle moves over to a right <coughs> tackle for, for Hilliard. Stafford, who took a hit, firing for the end zone, it is caught! Touchdown, Calvin Johnson! That looked like a Hail Mary at the end of the game. A jump ball, and the 6'5", Calvin Johnson made the catch. Well, if you're Matthew Stafford, you just have to give him a chance. And I think oftentimes, you talk about covering a guy like Calvin Johnson, oftentimes, corners panic when they have their back to the quarterback and the ball is in the air. And you have to be able to get your head around, locate and track the ball and try and make a play on it. Everybody out. Far rolls. Lets the throw deep and does. To the end zone for Greg Lewis. Touchdown! Touchdown! Far did it! Play by Brett Favre. By in time, delivers this ball. Let's watch the end line. Left foot right inside the line. He did drag his toe. Did you see the little rubber part, rubber particles bounce up off the field turf? This is going to be a touchdown. I mean, look at that throw. Left foot down. Now watch the right toe drag right there. That's a touchdown. Pennington back and taking the snap. Looking outside, throwing, complete inside the 45-yard line to Greg Camarillo. I'm not sure if it hit the field or not. It's on. It never hit the ground. Tony Sperano has thrown the flag on the far side of the field. If watch this football bounce off the legs of Greg Camarillo, and we're going to be able to see space right there. Watch the ball as actually going to start to go back up. And there he gets it with his hand. And look at the space between the ball and the field. 17 down the far sideline. Pass is caught. 
Oh, what a catch by Aronde Gadsden inside the 40-yard line. That's a 34-yard gain, and I can't believe he caught it. You sounded so <laughs> surprised, and it's caught. I know, watch this, one-handed. Oh, gosh. He oh, pulled one in one-handed a week ago against the Colts. That is, listen, 